We have come a long, long way. And today we celebrate a transformation and a triumph. The freedom to marry nationwide. Progress on this journey often comes in small increments. Sometimes two steps forward, one step back, propelled by the persistent effort of dedicated citizens. And then sometimes there are days like this, when that slow, steady effort is rewarded with justice that arrives like a thunderbolt. Within living memory, gay people in America were a despised and oppressed minority. Our love was scorned, not respected. NBC News found that a majority felt that homosexuality was immoral. When our loved ones were sick and even dying, our own government could barely care less. Early pioneers had bravely stepped forward to claim the freedom to marry. The country wasn't ready. Their dreams were laughed at, their cases dismissed. Officials turned him down flat. A marital relationship cannot exist between faggots. But at the heart of discrimination against gay people was the denial of our love. For our dignity, our equality, our families, we had to fight to see our love respected. We had to claim the freedom to marry. Even writing my paper in 1983, I believed that our fight for the freedom to marry would be an engine of transformation. There was resistance and uncertainty, even from within the movement. A lot of people say that civil unions are the same as civil marriage, but they're absolutely different. So gay people continued to dream of being able to marry the person they loved. Then, in Hawaii, a tectonic shift. A Honolulu judge told Hawaii state government it cannot deny a marriage license to gay couples. Many, many couples stand on the brink of being able to do what every other American takes for granted, exercise the freedom to marry. But what we won was stripped away in a political attack. The president signed a bill barring federal recognition of homosexual marriages. Winning in court was not enough. We needed to build a true campaign that could drive our strategy. We needed to be able to win and defend our wins. We needed to move the country to win nationwide in the Supreme Court. And we did. Along the way, there were painful losses. Marriage is the most fundamental institution of civilization. 52% of voters supported Proposition 8 to ban gay marriage. The fact that some people would like to undo our I do makes me very sad. But we never gave up. We learned, we grew, and we won in court. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you legally Mary. <laughs> we gave Americans a chance to see families helped and no one hurt. These couples will finally be treated equally and fairly by their government. They said we couldn't defend our win, but we stuck it out, and we did. Today, Massachusetts lawmakers voted to uphold gay marriage. They said we'd never win in the heartland. Iowa became the third state to allow same-sex marriage. They said we'd never get the people behind us. For the first time, a majority of people support gay marriage. They said we'd never get Republicans to join Democrats and independents on our side. No, freedom means freedom for everyone. And they said we'd never get elected officials, a vice president, and the president to come on board. I think same-sex couples should be able to get married. Some people said we would never, ever win at the ballot, but we learned how to do it. And in 2012, we won four out of four. The finally won. We convinced the nation that love is love. People learned that we were their kids and their cousins and their friends. We were human beings like everybody else. This was our journey, together with the movement of many, a shared strategy we stuck to, a campaign to drive that strategy and spearhead that movement. We learned, we built, we rebounded, we kept going. 
This morning, the Supreme Court recognized that the Constitution guarantees marriage equality. That's the consequence of the countless small acts of courage of millions of people across decades who stood up, who came out, willing to endure bullying and taunts, and stayed strong, and came to believe in themselves and who they were, and slowly made an entire country realize that love is love. What an extraordinary achievement. What a vindication of the belief that ordinary people can do extraordinary things. Those countless, often anonymous heroes, they deserve our thanks. They should be very proud. America should be very proud. Love one. We all won.